Bit of a reflection, I guess, and yeah, I've gone back on the video that I once made. Morning YouTube! Welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to talk about a little bit of a confession I've got to make. Um, but before we do that, I've got a few things to get sorted. Most importantly, I've got to get some breakfast. And I'm going to have the most British breakfast you can imagine. I'm going to have crumpets. So, get the day started first, and then a bit later on, guys, I'll tell you what my confession is. Uh... You probably can tell from the title of today's video, I'm not sure what I'm going to call it yet, but um, a few months ago now I made a video about why I was selling my Leica, uh, it was my Leica M240, and I kind of went through the reasons why I was selling it, um, and literally whilst, I, whilst that video was live, the camera was genuinely up for sale, and it's been up for sale for a few months, um, and what actually happened was the 35mm lens that I had, I was using a summer at the time, sold straight away, so that instantly meant that I was kind of left with a camera body and no lenses, so I kept advertising the camera anyway, and whenever I put something up for sale, what I do is I put it up for sale, probably a little bit too expensive first, and then I keep slowly knocking the price down until people start to bite. Um, and to be honest, not many people did bite. I had somebody come and look at it once and then decide not to buy it. Um, but then I got to the point where, to be honest with you guys, I forgot to relist it. And what ended up happening was I didn't have my advert up, but I had a camera set upstairs in my camera bag that I just couldn't use. I think it was about January, dis January, February time I made that video and probably over the last two months I've been thinking and it's kind of just been in the back of my mind that I've got my Leica upstairs and I just can't use it and this week I finally bit the bullet. This week I ordered myself another lens so I ordered myself a Voigtlander. Um, I've never used Voigtlander lenses before. I imagine most of you do know Leica lenses are really really expensive um, and Voigtlander offer lenses that appear to be of similar spec for quite a lot less so for example, the lens that I bought is a Voigtlander 35mm f1.2. Um, it's the version 2 of the lens. Um, it has aspherical elements, so the specs kind of sound like they match up, but I was interested in terms of how good these lenses are. And you see that people tend to be very hot and cold on the internet. Some people really love them and appreciate them for what they are. Some people compare them to the Leica lenses that I think well, generally tend to be four or five times as expensive. So to give you guys an idea, um, the, the lens cost me 600 quid. Uh, it's pre-owned because I buy all my stuff pre-owned in case I want to sell it again. Um, and I think the Leica equivalent is something like three grand. Um, that is pre-owned as well. I think they actually retail for like four. Um, so you can see the price is massive. So personally, I'm not expecting anywhere near the spec. What I'd quite like is some character. I'd, if, if the lens has got lots of character, then I'll be quite happy with it. Throughout the day, I'm going to talk about why it is that I've decided to keep my M240. And to be honest with you guys, a lot of you called me out on this. Um, so I remember just after I posted the video last time, and to be honest, that video's done way better than any of my other videos. A few of you guys commented saying, oh, I've sold my Leica and I ended up buying it again, or in a few months time, you'll wish you still had it. And so I'll put some of the comments on the screen now, because to be honest, the video only had like 10 comments from you guys, and maybe four of them called me out on this. So uh, you guys were right. And I remember reading these comments at the time and thinking to myself, I so hope you guys are wrong because, oh, it's up for sale. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna enjoy my crumpets, but we've got plenty to do today. So like I said earlier, um, I bought a Voigtlander lens, so it's this guy. It's pretty big to be fair, but then it is f1.2 and I ordered this so that I could use my Leica again and I was genuinely buzzing for this thing to arrive. Um, so I spoke a little bit about this earlier. I guess that's not really the main topic of this video. Um, I really want to talk about, I guess, why I've decided to keep my Leica after previously making a video that said I was going to sell it. Um, and yeah, so, so back in that video I spoke an awful lot about my uh, Mamiya 7 and how that had kind of taken over the rangefinder need and also that it was medium format but since that video, it's bit, to be honest with you guys, I've barely used it. Back, it. back in that same video I spoke about how the 1DX Mark II was way too heavy for me and I think the Mami has kind of done the same thing and I know medium format has its look and everything but I'm not a fan of 
As much of a fan of the medium format as maybe I once thought I was, my Mamiya's really got no use at all, and I guess not using my, my Mamiya, I've realised that I haven't really had a rangefinder to shoot with, and I love shooting with rangefinders, and I even alluded to that in the video. I spoke a, a, quite a bit about the Roly 35. Now, the interesting thing with the Roly 35 in the video was I spoke a lot about how I can take it everywhere. Now, I do take that everywhere, but only when I want to shoot film. I feel like I've lost the... I've lost that I've lost that sort of camera that I take everywhere that's digital and I can kind of see the images straight away. If that makes sense. And I found myself using my phone an awful lot and I didn't really like that. Yeah, so I used to take my Leica everywhere and I've realised going back in time through Lightroom, some of my favourite images were taken with my Leica and in times where I didn't really I wouldn't normally have a camera on me. And I found that again I'm back to not carrying a camera every day and I think I underestimated how much of a big thing that was to me. Literally since buying that Voigtlander lens earlier this week I've used my camera every single day again and I'm really enjoying using it again in, in that way. Something else that crossed my mind is now that I'm not using that, now I'm not using the Mamiya, I could sell the Mamiya and if I sold the Mamiya I could buy a Leica M6. Now again one of you guys mentioned this before, I think you suggested I should buy an M4 but I'd really enjoy having a meter um, and that way I could get my Leica lens collection back up together again and hop between film and digital whenever I want and have a camera that I can take everywhere so I'll go back to always having a camera on me and I still get to choose whether that's digital or if it's analog I probably won't get rid of the Rode 35 it was a, it's still an amazing camera and it's pocketable and neither of the Leicas really are also something that I think I realized having not used the Leica was I don't feel awkward having my Leica with me all the time I feel like I don't feel like I've got a camera. I feel like in some situations having a camera on you can make it feel awkward at times if that makes sense. And with my Leica I don't really feel awkward having the camera on me. be interested to know what you guys think. If I sold my Mamiya I would have my Leica, I'd have a Leica M6, I'd have a Leica M240. They would cover my everyday take with me cameras um, and I could choose between analog and digital and I could have one lens collection. And then the other side of it is that I'd have my Fuji X-T2 for anything that needs, I guess, specs, like, I don't know, if I need autofocus for some reason, uh, good for night photography, good for these videos. Um, and then I'll keep my Rode 35, partly because I love the camera, and if I want to stick something in my pocket where I really don't want to carry a camera with me, but I'd want something other than my phone, because I guess one way of looking at it is my Rode 35 and my phone are almost alternatives to each other. If I want to shoot film, I can use my Rode 35. If I want to shoot digital but be pocketable, then I'll probably just use my phone. And guys, I totally realise this might sound mad that I'm buying and selling cameras, but I buy and sell all my stuff secondhand, so I don't actually lose any money doing any of this. I might lose a little bit if it's digital, um, but all my analog cameras, you buy and sell them at almost the same price. Some of my analog cameras have actually gone up in value recently, so if anything, I've actually made a bit of profit from doing this, but I guess Price doesn't really matter too much in my decision because these cameras tend to hold their money quite well. Even Leicas, even the digital ones, they do hold their money. They are slowly dropping in price, but um, they nev they'll never be rock bottom prices. So yeah, I realise it definitely sounds like I have gas or what is it, gear, gear acquisition syndrome. But honestly, I don't, I don't really mind because I'm not losing any money. I just get to try out loads of different cameras and lenses, and that's part of the fun in photography for me. When I only had my Leica as a digital camera, that I was missing. I wasn't able to do some of the things I wanted to do, night photography being one of the big ones. So I don't think, I think I was right in my video that, that a Leica isn't a one camera solution. It's good to have along with a camera that can do everything as well. So yeah, let me know, let me know guys if you think that makes sense. But yeah, it's been an interesting morning, bit of a reflection I guess. And yeah, I've gone back on the video that I once made. Yeah, so um, I hope all that made sense and I realised that I rambled on for quite a little bit there and I guess I try not to ramble quite so much in my future videos. But uh, yeah, I guess we'll be seeing more of this guy. Um, and I've got lots of videos planned with this. So if you've enjoyed this video, please, please subscribe and you'll see plenty more Leica content coming. And like I alluded to earlier, you might even see a Leica M6 in the near future. Um, and if there's anything you want to know about any of my cameras, feel free to comment below and I'll get back to you. I'm sure I can answer as many questions as possible but as always guys if you've enjoyed this video please like please subscribe 
everybody counts at the minute and each one of your likes definitely helps my videos get seen so I want to thank my current subscriber base um, I realize there's or not that many of you at the minute but I can see based on my analytics that quite a lot of you guys are returning and you are watching my videos so I guess a bit of a shout out to you guys but guys thank you for watching this cheers <laughs>